Bonjour, Dave. I'm in French immersion at school, but I don't know how to type on the computer in French. Merci. That's an excellent question. In most of Canada and the United States, we're used to using the U.S. English keyboard, which does not have any accented characters. Now, if you have a child in French immersion, or you just occasionally have to type a foreign character with an accent, you don't need to go out and buy a brand new keyboard. The existing keyboard you have will work just fine. All we have to do is tell Windows to change the keyboard. So we go to the control panel and we're looking for the clock language and region and we're going to change the keyboard. Again, we're going to change the keyboard. And as you can see here, the only one we have here is the US English keyboard. So let's add an international keyboard. So we hit add. And we scroll down to English, United States. We have the United States International Keyboard. And we'll click on that and click OK. And now we have a second keyboard, the US, the United States International. I'm just going to make a quick little change here and you'll see why in a moment. We're going to click on the properties here. And you see this little icon here? We're going to change it and we're going to make it look a little bit different. I'm just going to choose the red one here. We're going to click OK. And then we're also going to turn on the language bar. This is what's going to allow us to change the keyboard fairly easily. And it's now set to docked in the taskbar. And we're going to plot, click apply, and OK. Now if you look down here, you'll see we've got a nice little gray keyboard. Based on what we've done, this is the standard US keyboard. And if we click on it, we can change it to the United States International Keyboard. And it's gone pink, meaning that we're now typing with the International Keyboard. So I'm just going to open up Notepad here. And this will work in any program here. It'll tend to switch back to the US when you change programs. And now we can type with accented characters. Now that you have the International Keyboard, in order to type the characters, when you have an accented character, it takes two keystrokes to type the character. So if I'm going to make E accent agu, which is this one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the single quote key. It's right next to the enter key, followed immediately by the E. So on my keyboard here, I would hit the, I would hit that single quote, and then immediately following. I would type the E. If I want to make A accent grave, which is this one, I will press the this little key here, which is next to the one on most keyboards, followed by the letter A. So it'll look like that. For the circumflex, that is the shift of the six followed by the letter. So shift to the 6, which is the caret, followed by the O, and you get that. The sedil, which is that little comma underneath the C, also uses the single quote. So it's a single quote, the same that we had in the E accent agu, followed by the C, which will give us the C sedil. Those are the ones from the French language. There are other languages as well. So as I'm typing, the accented characters come in no, no problem. But there is one issue with the international keyboard you should be aware of. Watch what happens when I type Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle Dave. You'll notice that I ended up with an A accent aigu instead of an apostrophe. That's not what I wanted. If you actually need the apostrophe, this is what you do. Type it as normal, J, followed by the M. I hit the apostrophe key, and then I hit the space bar. And this will give me the apostrophe, and then I can continue typing the rest of the sentence properly. So remember that with the international keyboard. 
accented characters take two keystrokes and when you need the accented mark all by itself the space bar is the second keystroke thank you for watching this dr. Dave computer home remedy